graph the function for the given domain. So I have f of x, that equals 3 times the absolute value of x minus 5, and the domain I'm going to use is going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 in that order. So let's make ourselves a little table, okay? And it's going to be a three-part table. Let me give myself plenty of space. In the first column, I'm going to have the x values, which is my domain. And my x values are going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. In the middle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type out or actually calculate what f of x is given the x value that I have. Okay, so I have 3 times the absolute value of x minus 5. Now, whenever you plug something in, right, so when I want to find out what f of 3 is, I'm going to replace x with parentheses 3. So I have 3 times the absolute value of parentheses 3 minus 5 close the absolute value. Now inside the absolute value, I have 3 minus 5, and 3 minus 5 is negative 2. This follows PEMDAS rules now. So you do everything inside the parentheses, or in this case, inside the grouping symbol, the absolute value. So I do 3 minus 5 first, so 3 times the absolute value of 3 minus 5 is negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is regular 2, so 3 times 2. Let me scoot you over this line because I'm going to need the space. Uh, and that's going to end up giving me 6. Okay, after all that, 6. Let's do it again with 4. f of 4 is going to equal 3 times the absolute value of parentheses 4 minus 5. Close the absolute value. Inside the absolute value, you have 4 minus 5, which is negative 1. So 3 times negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is regular 1, so 3 times 1 is 3. Let's do it again with 5. f of 5 is going to equal 3 times the absolute value of parentheses 5 minus 5, close the absolute value. Inside the absolute value, I have 5 minus 5, which is 0. The absolute value of 0 is 0, and 3 times 0 is 0. Okay, easy peasy. Let's try for 6. f of 6 is going to equal 3 times the absolute value of parentheses 6 minus 5, close the absolute value. 6 minus 5 inside the absolute value is regular 1. And 3 times regular 1, the absolute value of 1 is regular 1. I don't know if I said that. 3 times regular 1 is 3. Remember, absolute value always makes something that's positive or negative. It makes it positive. So the absolute value of 1 is 1. And so we can see, uh-oh, those numbers are going back up again. That's supposed to happen. f of 7 is going to equal 3 times the absolute value of parentheses 7 minus 5. Close the absolute value. Inside the absolute value, I have 7 minus 5, which is 2, so 3 times the absolute value of 2. The absolute value of positive 2 stays positive 2, so 3 times 2 is 6. Now back over here in this chart where I thought I had enough space, that's going to be my x, y values, or my x, f of x values. Okay, so when I graph them, I have points. So for example, I have 3, 6, which is the point 3, 6. I plugged in 3, I got out 6. That gives me the ordered pair 3, 6. I plugged in 4, I got out 3, 4, 3. I plugged in 5, I got out 0, 5, 0. I plugged in 6, I got out 3, 6, 3. I plugged in 7, I got out 6, 7, 6. Now let's graph these five points on this coordinate plane. Okay, so whenever you're graphing points on a coordinate plane, you start out at 0, 0, and figure out the directions you go. Everything here is positive except for 0, so we're either going to the right and then up. So this is going to be right, 3, 6 is going to be right, 1, 2, 3, up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So fly like a 3, 6. Remember that song? It was like 12 years old not older. This is 4, 3. Go right, 1, 2, 3, 4. Go up, 1, 2, 3, 
that's the coordinate for three. The coordinate five zero has me going right one, two, three, four, five, don't move because zero means don't move, and that's my point. Six three is gonna have me go to zero, zero, and then go right one, two, three, four, five, six, up one, two, three, and then I have my dot right there. Last but not least, seven, six, is going to have me start at zero, zero, go right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's that. Now, if you're looking at this and wondering, uh, why is it like a V shape? Why isn't it a straight line? If you watch all my videos in order, you'll notice that the last one was a straight line if I were to connect the dots. Well, absolute values are going to have those behaviors. They make V shapes because things are going to stay positive for the most part. That's what I like to do with my attitude. And that's what this problem does right here. Stay positive. And you know what, kids? You stay positive too, because that's what you should do in life. Well, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.